welcome to JournalCast, a podcast for people who are passionate about journaling. Keep listening for more tips, tricks, and suggestions that will help you make the most out of your journaling practice. Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of JournalCast. My name is Hannah. I am the hostess of this podcast and an avid journaler. I am completely passionate about journaling. I wanted to create a podcast that covers the ins and outs of journaling, both for people who are new to the practice and for people who've been journaling for a while but just want to take their practice to the next level and go a bit deeper. So what I want to do with this podcast is to create a library of information and resources related to journaling that will hopefully be useful to both new journalists and experienced journalists too. In this first episode, I just want to provide a quick introduction to who I am, my own relationship with journaling, and why I'm doing this podcast. And then future episodes will cover topics like what is journaling, how to journal, tools you can use, as well as highlighting different suggestions and prompts that you can take away and start using in your own practice. So as I mentioned right at the beginning, my name is Hannah and I am an avid journaler myself. I'm a writer and coach and I run a website called Becoming Who You Are, which you can find at www.becomingwhoyouare.net and there's a link to that in the show notes of this podcast. Becomingwhoyouare.net is the guide to authentic living. So on there, I talk a lot about how to overcome social, familial and cultural conditioning that we all have in order to be our most authentic selves and to create the life that we want from the inside out. If that sounds good to you, please go and check out the website, which is, like I said, at www.becomingwhoyouare.net. I've been journaling seriously for about six or seven years now, and I started journaling as a personal development tool. At the time, I was in therapy, so it was really invaluable as a complement to that. And I've continued doing it since then because I very quickly realized just how important it was to me to be able to have this outlet and this safe space to work through internal conflicts, learn more about my internal dialogue and the different parts of me that are in there, and to have a space to recall things that are going on in my life as well. There are lots and lots of benefits of journaling, which I will cover in a later podcast. That's a very brief overview of some of the things that I got out of it. But as you're no doubt aware, if you are a journaler, there are many, many great things that you can get from having a regular journaling practice. So while I was on my journaling and personal development journey, I did a lot of reading around the subject of journaling. Once I started journaling and I became really enthusiastic about it, I just wanted to read everything I could on the topic and I wanted to try all these different suggestions and prompts and exercises, different ways of journaling. I experimented with art journaling. I just really threw myself into it for a number of years. And that led me last year to write a book called The Ultimate Guide to Journaling. And the purpose of writing that book was basically to put everything I'd learned into the kind of guide that I would have wanted to have when I was starting out with my own journaling practice. Because I think journaling is one of those things where there's a lot of, it's relatively straightforward when you start out, but there's a lot of misconceptions around what it is and how you should do it. And the fact that it is so flexible means that a lot of people start out thinking, oh, I don't know what to do and I don't know how to do this and what is the right way to do it. So with the book, I really wanted to take those questions that I have myself and questions that I know a lot of other people have had as well and really demystify journaling as well as providing some helpful hints and some helpful prompts and suggestions that people can use to really kickstart their practice. So that is the book. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Journaling. It's available through my website, becomingwhoyouare.net, as an audio book, and it's also available on Kindle through Amazon. As part of the research process for that book and just out of my own interest afterwards, I've been looking for a podcast on journaling that really goes into the ins and outs of the practice and how to make the most of it. And I haven't really found anything that provides a comprehensive A to Z of how you can make the most out of journaling for your own life, for your own self-knowledge and for your own personal development. And I think this is a real shame because like I said, journaling has been one of the most invaluable personal development tools for me. 
I think it's a really great practice that can be applied to so many contexts, professional and personal. So when I couldn't find this podcast, I thought I would create my own. And that's what this is. Like I said at the beginning, I'm going to attempt to make this suitable for people who are just starting out with their journaling practice, as well as people who've been journaling for a while and want to explore ways that they can take their practice a bit deeper and take it to another level, essentially, how they can make the most out of their practice. So I hope that the content that follows is useful for you. If you have any feedback about it, I would love for you to email me at hannah at Thanks for listening to this episode of JournalCast. If you enjoyed the show, please head over to iTunes and leave a review. You can get in touch with me by emailing hannah, that's H-A-N-N-A-H, at becomingwhoyouare.net. Remember that my book, The Ultimate Guide to Journaling, is available through all major ebook retailers and as an audiobook through www.becomingwhoyouare.net. So pick up your copy and inspire your journaling practice today. See you next time.